Through their music, their acting, and their art, celebrities touch the lives of millions of people across the globe. They provide the soundtrack to all the major moments of your life. So the loss of a beloved star can hit hard, because their lives remind us of everything we love about our own lives. Join us as we celebrate the legacy of these celebs we've sadly lost so far in 2018. Jerry Van Dyke The younger brother of TV legend Dick Van Dyke, Jerry Van Dyke passed away January 5, 2018 at 86 years old from heart failure. Jerry's wife, Shirley Ann Jones, said Jerry's health had declined following a car accident in 2015. Jerry got his start with guest appearances on The Dick Van Dyke Show and became a regular on The Ed Sullivan Show and The Judy Garland Show as a comedian. Far from riding his big brother's coattails, Jerry was an Emmy-nominated actor in his own right, earning four nods for his role of assistant coach Luther Van Dam on Coach from 1989 to 1997. After Coach ended, Jerry made regular guest appearances on television shows, including My Name is Earl, Yes Dear, Raising Hope, and The Middle. Jason Wayne Miller Famous for playing Salami Sam in the 1995 cult classic film Heavyweights, Jason Wayne Miller passed away in his sleep on January 9, 2018, at his home in Chicago. He was just 36 years old. Heavyweights writer and producer Judd Apatow told Page Six, "...being around Joe Miller was pure joy. We could not have loved spending time with him more. He made everyone around him so happy. What a terrible loss." Co-star Aaron Schwartz, who played Gerald Garner in the film, added, "...Joe always brought the fun to the set. He was one of those people you always wanted to be around." So sad. So young. Rest in peace, Joe. Dolores O'Riordan The front woman of the Cranberries, Dolores O'Riordan passed away January 15, 2018, at age 46. With one of the most unique voices in pop music, O'Riordan helped the Cranberries become a worldwide sensation in the 90s with hits like Linger and Zombie. After a highly publicized altercation at an airport in 2014, O'Riordan was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and became an outspoken mental health advocate. O'Riordan's boyfriend of two years, musician Ole Koretsky, wrote in a statement, "'My friend, partner, and the love of my life is gone. My heart is broken and it is beyond repair. Dolores is beautiful. The energy she continues to radiate is undeniable. I am lost. I miss her so much.'" Stephen Hawking World-famous theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking passed away March 14, 2018, at the age of 76. When Hawking was only 21 years old, he was diagnosed with a myotrophic lateral sclerosis, better known as ALS, and was given just two years to live. Instead, he became one of the most famous scientists in modern history and a pop culture mainstay. Hawking's children issued a statement which read in part, "...his courage and persistence with his brilliance and humor inspired people across the world." He once said, "...it would not be much of a universe if it wasn't home to the people you love. We will miss you forever." John Mahoney Best known for playing down-to-earth dad Martin Crane on Frasier, John Mahoney passed away February 4, 2018, while in hospice care. He was 77 years old. Mahoney was born in England and came to the United States when he was 19. He taught English at Western Illinois University before joining the Steppenwolf Theater Ensemble in his late 30s. What do you think this means? Dog Army. <laughs> After appearing in films like Moonstruck and Say Anything, Mahoney received a Screen Actors Guild Award, two Emmy nods, and two Golden Globe nominations for his role as Fraser Crane's Blue Collar Dad. Mahoney also won a Tony Award in 1986 for his role in The House of Blue Leaves on Broadway. Mahoney never married and had no children, but in a touching tribute, Fraser star Kelsey Grammer reflected, He was my father and I loved him. Reg E. Cathy. Veteran television actor Reg E. Cathy passed away February 9, 2018, at 59 years old, after a battle with lung cancer. Cathy, who was famous for his rich, deep voice, appeared in dozens of films and television shows, but is perhaps best known as Martin Corns on Oz, and as reporter-turned-politician Norman Wilson on The Wire. He also won an Emmy in 2015 for his guest spot on House of Cards, giving one of the shortest acceptance speeches of all time. Thank you, I'm thrilled. Marty Allen Legendary comedian Marty Allen passed away from complications from pneumonia on February 12, 2018. He was 95 years old. After serving in World War II, Allen's comedy career began in 1950. He rose to notoriety when he partnered with Steve Rossi for the duo Allen and Rossi. The pair performed on The Ed Sullivan Show a whopping 44 times, including the episode during which The Beatles made their U.S. TV debut. Gave her a rhinoceros charges. I take away his credit cards. 
Allen made hundreds of television appearances through the 1970s and 1980s, with credits ranging from game shows such as Hollywood Squares to serious roles in daytime dramas such as The Big Valley. In 1984, Allen married Karen Blackwell, with whom he performed a musical comedy act on tours throughout the United States for more than 30 years, with his final performance coming on his 95th birthday in 2017. David Ogden Styers Veteran stage, screen, and voice actor David Ogden Styers passed away on March 3, 2018 from bladder cancer. He was 75 years old. An Oregon native who studied acting at Juilliard, Styers earned two Emmy nominations for his most famous role as Major Winchester on M.A.S.H. Later in his career, he became a voiceover specialist, appearing in several Disney classics including as the voice of Cogsworth in Beauty and the Beast and Governor Ratcliffe in Pocahontas. Most recently, he voiced the character of Mr. Maylard on Regular Show from 2011 through 2016. His M.A.S.H. co-star Loretta Swit said in a statement, "...he was an extraordinary person, a gifted actor, phenomenal musician, and my sweet, dear, shy friend. Working with him was an adventure. He was exceptional." Dushan Monique Brown Chicago Fire star Dushan Monique Brown passed away from sepsis on March 23, 2018 at just 49 years old. Brown starred on the series as Connie, the no-nonsense assistant to Chief Bowden. Previously, Brown was known for her recurring role as Nurse Katie Welch on Prison Break. Chicago Fire executive producer Dick Wolf said in a statement, "...the Chicago Fire family is devastated to lose one of its own. Our thoughts and prayers are with Dushan's family, and we will all miss her." Stephen Bochco The legendary producer behind television series such as Doogie Howser, M.D., NYPD Blue, L.A. Law, and Hill Street Blues, Stephen Bochco died April 1, 2018 from leukemia. He was 74 years old. Over the course of Bochco's career, he was nominated for an incredible 30 Emmys, winning 10 of them. Director Steven Spielberg, who collaborated with Bochco on the hit series Columbo, said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, "...Steve was a friend and colleague starting with the first episode of Columbo in 1971 that he wrote and I directed. We have supported and inspired each other ever since, and through many deep mutual friendships, we have stayed connected for 47 years. I will miss Steve terribly." R. Lee Ermey Best known for his Golden Globe-nominated portrayal of drill gunnery sergeant Gunny Hartman in Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket, Arlie Ermey passed away due to complications from pneumonia on April 15, 2018. He was 74. Prior to becoming an actor, Ermey spent 11 years in the Marines, including 14 months in Vietnam. After retiring from the military in 1971, he took advantage of the GI Bill and studied drama at the University of Manila in the Philippines. Francis Ford Coppola was filming 1979's Apocalypse Now nearby at the time and cast Ermey as a helicopter pilot. Ermey's career went on to span nearly 40 years, with roles in films including Seven, Dead Man Walking, and as the Toy Soldier's Army Sarge in the Toy Story franchise. It has been an honor serving with you. Good luck, folks. Harry Anderson Beloved Night Court star Harry Anderson passed away in his sleep at 65 years old on April 16, 2018. TMZ reported that Anderson's wife Elizabeth found him unresponsive in their home. She told emergency personnel that Anderson had suffered from strokes and had battled the flu in the months leading up to his passing. In addition to starring as Judge Harry Stone on the NBC hit show, Anderson was also an accomplished comedian and magician. Anderson's Night Court co-star John LaRoquette tweeted, "...out in the cosmos tonight with his fedora at a rakish angle and watch this wink to us, he's coaxing whoever might be out there with him, pick a card, any card." Avicii Swedish DJ and producer Tim Bergling, better known to fans as Avicii, took his own life on April 20, 2018 at just 28 years old. The EDM superstar was most famous for his hits levels, Wake Me Up, Hey Brother and Fade Into Darkness. Bergling suffered from serious medical issues in the final years of his all-too-short life, including acute pancreatitis, which he attributed to excessive drinking. As a result, the DJ reportedly quit drinking entirely, but his health issues continued, and in 2014 he had his gallbladder and appendix removed. By 2016, Avicii had retired from touring completely citing not just his physical but also his mental health as reasons to step back from live performances. He told The Hollywood Reporter, "...it was something I had to do for my health. The scene was not for me. I'm more of an introverted person in general. It was always very hard for me. I took on board too much negative energy." Vern Troyer World famous for playing Mini-Me opposite Mike Myers in the hit Austin Powers franchise, Vern Troyer passed away April 21, 2018, at the age of 49. Troyer, who stood at 2 feet 9 inches, was born with a chondroplasia dwarfism which results in the formation of unusually small limbs. Meyer said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, "...Vern was the consummate professional and a beacon of positivity for those of us who had the honor of working with him. It is a sad day, but I hope he is in a better place. He will be greatly missed." Margot Kidder 
Famous for playing Lois Lane in 1978 Superman and its three sequels opposite Christopher Reeve, Margot Kidder passed away on May 13, 2018, at the age of 69. Over the course of her long career, Kidder appeared in numerous film and television roles and famously enjoyed an acclaimed off-Broadway career. She also publicly struggled with bipolar disorder for much of her life, becoming a mental health advocate after a highly publicized breakdown in 1996, and later in life devoted herself to political activism and environmental causes. What's left out of the mental health conversation is the fact that your brain is an organ of your body. Kate Spade Born Catherine Noel Brosnahan, fashion designer Kate Spade began as an editor at Mademoiselle and launched her handbag line with her husband Andy from their New York City apartment in 1993. The award-winning brand expanded into housewares, accessories, and stationery. She walked away from the company in 2006 to focus on parenting her daughter Frances. On June 5, 2018, she was found by a housekeeper after committing suicide. She was 55 years old. Law enforcement sources told Kate left a heartbreaking note for her daughter. Sources also told TMZ that her husband supposedly wanted a divorce, which may have depressed Kate. The Spade family asked for privacy in a statement saying, We are all devastated. We loved Kate dearly and will miss her terribly. Anthony Bourdain Chef, author, and television host Anthony Bourdain, best known for his Emmy-winning shows No Reservations and Parts Unknown, was found dead of an apparent suicide on June 8th. He was 61. CNN confirmed that Bourdain was in France working on an upcoming episode of his hit series, when friend and fellow chef Eric Repair found him in a hotel room. CNN issued a statement that said, in part, His love of great adventure, new friends, fine food and drink, and the remarkable stories of the world made him a unique storyteller. His talents never cease to amaze us and we will miss him very much. Bourdain built a name for himself as an outspoken chef with a reformed bad boy reputation, someone who'd admitted to cocaine and heroin abuse problems in the past, but had reportedly overcome his once crippling addiction to become a highly successful food and travel connoisseur and renowned journalist. When Parts Unknown received a Peabody Award in 2013, the organization had this to say about Bourdain. He's irreverent, honest, curious, never condescending, never obsequious. People open up to him and, in doing so, often reveal more about their hometowns or homelands than a traditional reporter could hope to document. In Memoriam Sadly, these aren't the only celebrities who have left us in 2018. Here's a look at some of the many stars who enhanced our lives before leaving us all too soon. John Paul Stoyer Donnelly Rhodes Denise LaSalle Fast Eddie Clark Bobby Zarin Bob Smith Connie Sawyer Joel Taylor Dorothy Malone Fredo Santana Dennis Edwards Mickey Jones John Gavin Craig Mack Sammy Williams Seo Min Woo